What we have here today is a wet Home Light 150 chainsaw. I say wet because when I found it, the case was 100% full of water and probably has been for about a week. So I got it out of the case. I already have taken the spark plug out. Spark plugs in here. Pulled out the plug. Put a little oil down the cylinder just, you know, after turning it over to get the water out. So the what I'm going to try to do now is actually get it running to make sure it still works. And gonna, first thing, I'm going to have to pull off this recoil cover here and get the pull starter working again. So let's get started. Alright, so these are just some standard screws here. separate piece of plastic there. Let's see. Looks like this should be free. There we go. Alright, it's off there. So it looks like the problem here is the very end of the spring has actually broken off. And considering that this chainsaw is an antique, I don't think I'm going to be able to find any replacement parts. So most likely, that's why it was re originally retired in the first place, is because it's not working anymore. So I'm going to still see if I can't make this spring work. Got to get this spring cover out of here real careful, like. Alright. There's the spring cover. Let's see if I can get the spring out without it exploding in my face. Somehow I doubt it. Okay, well this isn't a very strong recoil spring. Not to mention, they were smart and they pinned it in place there. So it's not going to explode out like most of them would. The, this is the original end that was on there. It snapped off. Which is probably the reason this thing was put away in the first place. The idea is to see if I can get this end bent in such a way to match this so that the spring is just a little bit shorter is all. That's the question. Can you do that? So you see, when I try to bend it a little bit, just a little bit, it snaps off. Well, the first thing I'm going to try is stealing a recoil unit off of another engine. An engine that we're not using and has no purpose. And that's how you get a friction drive clutch off one of these small engines. At least this kind. Now to demolish this part. I don't know if this spring is going to be the right size, but I hope so. That's kind of a mess. There we go. So overall, 
the spring looks just about exactly the same. The center might be a slightly different design, but it might just work. It might just work. Let's get this cleaned up. Okay, now, let's see about getting this spring put in, huh? All right, so here's the idea. I've got the end of the recoil spring hooked here on this screw, and I've got this end in the drill chuck right here. I'm gonna tension the spring with the drill, and then with this, once it's tensioned, I'm gonna wrap this zip tie around it and hold it from springing back out. That's the plan, let's see if it'll work. So I truly think this is the smallest I'm ever going to be able to get this spring down to. Let's see if it'll fit now, huh? So the idea here is to actually slide the spring out of the... There we go, out of that and then let it slowly expand to fill area. So all you out there watching on your phones and laptops, this went pretty quick, but for me, this took the whole afternoon. So let's get the spring retainer back in there. Hopefully that'll hold it. Got it. So now I can pre-tension the spring by a couple turns here. Okay, I finally got it. Good recoil there. Now, I'm just going to come off the end of this little rope here so it won't get stuck in anything. And put it in the engine. Ugh. Okay. Alright, so the next thing I want to do is check for spark here. Here's the original plug. It's pretty dirty, so I'm going to clean it here really quick. Alright, let's see. Yeah, it's got good spark there. I don't know if you can see it from the camera. I'm just going to put it back together. And I'm going to see if it'll fire up. So I'm going to clean the gas tank a little bit. So I just put in some nice mixed two-stroke fuel. All 
All right. Now we can try to start it. All right, so choke is on, ignition on, ready to start. Right, it's been sitting a little while. Let's see if it'll start. Okay guys, so I decided to try one more thing. I stuck a new spark plug in there from another small engine from a weed eater, I guess. And let's see if that'll make it work. Well, that's pretty good. Let's go see if it'll cut some wood. Guys, this tree fell over in my trail. It's time to get rid of it. Well, that thing cuts quite excellently. It's a lot sharper than my new chainsaw. Thanks for watching. Make sure to comment and like and subscribe for more projects like this.